On behalf of the entire Einstein family, I would like to thank Mayor Weber and the city of Augsburg for the opportunity to share some thoughts with you today. Last November, I received an email from the mayor's office that nearly knocked me off my chair. It explained that the city would like to rename a street in Kriegs Harbor in honor of the Einstein family. It further explained that this was the culmination of a years long review of street names that have associations with national socialism that had been undertaken by city offices. They asked whether our family would agree to this proposal. It took me the better part of the day to digest all of the information provided before I could share it with the rest of the Einstein family. Needless to say, this proposal overwhelmed us all, generating a very emotional response from many of us. I don't think any of us would have ever imagined that our family would be honored in such a way. As I understand the review process that has led to this moment, it is very similar to what is currently occurring in the United States with respect to street and place names that are associated with the Confederacy and with known racists and segregationists. These discussions have not been easy ones. They underscore the idea that the words and symbols that we use and the people, places, and things that we choose to commemorate reveal a lot about a society and its values. It is difficult to admit that some of these values may have been misplaced. It is even more difficult to take action to change the status quo. In that regard, I want to acknowledge the hard work of the city, the Department for Erinnerungskultur, the Commission for Street Names, and the Erinnerungsworkstatt Augsburg in undertaking this challenge in Augsburg. I also want to recognize the work of the Department for Geodata, whose research ensured that everything has been done consistent with appropriate laws and regulations. Additionally, I would like to recognize that this change has meant some inconvenience to the people and businesses located on the street as they need to change their address in any number of official records. Our family thanks you for your understanding and patience in working through this process. Some have argued that such changes are an attempt to rewrite history. In a recent interview, Ty Sedgley, a retired general in the United States Army, a professor emeritus of history at the US Military Academy at West Point, and a member of the commission established to review the names of US military bases, addressed this point. He said, we're changing commemoration. History is what historians do to look at the past to try to understand what happened. But commemoration is who, as a society, do we honor. And we should honor those who live the values that we cherish today, not those who fought for slavery and treason 160 years ago. In this vein, renaming this street Familia Einsteinstrasse should not be seen as glorifying the family itself, but rather as a statement of support for the values that they held dear, family, faith, community, and civic engagement. By changing the name of the street, we replace lies with truth, we replace false patriotism with civic pride, and we replace hate with love. I've given a lot of thought to how my mother would feel about all of this. To say that she would be stunned would be an understatement. I'm pretty sure that she would have been embarrassed at the high profile nature of having a street name for her family. However, I also think that the historical significance of this change would be very meaningful to her. As she said in 2017, when the Erinnerungs band in front of her former house was dedicated, this is the legacy that I hope my family has imparted to the people of Kriegshaber and Augsburg, that we are all members of a larger community and that we share a civic and human responsibility to support each other. I hope that this new street name will similarly serve as an enduring reminder of the need for everyone to embrace this important responsibility and make it the standard according to which we live our lives. Thank you.